everyone, Lauren here from Best Head Therapy Lamps. Today with I have another training for you. And the focus of today's presentation is going to be on four medical causes for depression. Now this is a fairly short presentation, so let's go ahead and get started. Now before a diagnosis of depression is made, it is always important for a physician to rule out any other possible physical causes for the symptoms of depression. In what follows, you will learn about four types of physical conditions that can cause depressive symptoms, but when these conditions are treated, can result in significant improvements in the symptoms of depression. Now, the first cause I will briefly talk to you about is called hypothyroidism. Now, if your thyroid gland, which is located in your neck region, is not functioning properly, or your hypothalamus and pituitary gland in your brain are involved, it can result in not enough thyroid hormone being secreted. In any case, hypothyroidism has many symptoms such as lethargy, weight gain, and depression. However, when hypothyroidism is diagnosed by way of blood tests and then treated with natural or synthetic thyroid hormones, the symptoms of depression can go away. Now, the second possible medical cause for depression is sleep apnea. Now, this is a sleep disorder where an individual stops breathing for at least 10 seconds and occurs at least 30 times while sleeping at nighttime. Now, there are four types of apnea. For example, one type is called obstructive sleep apnea, also known as OSA, occurs due, due to narrowing or obstruction of the airway. It can result in significant sleepiness during the daytime as well as symptoms of depression. Now, once diagnosis is made by your physician, use of a CPAP, also known as Continuous Positive Airway Pressure Machine, is the usual treatment. If the type of apnea is OSA, the loss of weight may also be recommended. Now, the literature seems to suggest that use of the CPAP in the treatment of sleep apnea can improve the symptoms of depression. Now, the third possible cause for depression can be vitamin deficiencies. Now, in recent years, vitamin D has been discussed a lot for its benefits in bone health. Now, more researchers are looking at the possibilities that vitamin D deficiencies contribute to depressive symptoms. Blood tests can confirm levels of vitamin D. Vitamin B12 and folic acid, also known as vitamin B9, should also be tested as some studies point to the link between deficiencies in these vitamins and depression as well. Now let's talk about the fourth and last possible cause for depression and it's called celiac disease. This is sensitivity to gluten, which is a protein found in wheat, rye, and barley products resulting in intestinal absorption issues. Symptoms vary in individuals and may include nausea, indigestion, mouth sores, and even depression. It appears that the depression is related to the brain not getting the needed nutrients it needs to function properly due to the intestinal malabsorption. Once celiac disease is confirmed by, by blood tests for, for uh, gluten antibodies and a test for the intestinal lining, a gluten-free diet must be initiated. So in conclusion, before a diagnosis of depression is made, it is always important that any physical reasons for the symptoms of depression be considered. Above, four possible physical reasons for depression have been reviewed. Significant improvements in symptoms can be seen when treatments target the physical causes. Now that's all I have for you today. Um, there are more trainings coming down the pipeline, so please keep a look out for them. If you have any questions or you want more information, you can actually contact us at Best Sad Therapy Lamps. Our number is 866-284-6296. You can also email us at lauren at bestsadtherapylamps.com. Until next time, thank you.